Hello Capricorns, how are you doing? Welcome to Silovi Tarot. I hope all is well with you. I hope you're doing really, really good. All right, so what are the vibes at this time? Capricorn, if you are interested in a personal reading, all right, check out my website, my services, and whatever may resonate with you, okay? And if you would like me also to make a video for you, that's also available. What is the message for my Capricorns at this time? I'm hearing like a lot of a lot of understanding of why I went or why I'm going in that direction. All right, so create an altar and visit a power place to connect with the divine. So a lot of understanding, a lot of I'm focusing on me, right? I'm I'm actually realizing that the direction maybe that I was taking in the past, I understand why I was uh, sort of uh, redirected or I'm being redirected. So there could be this like redirection happening with you, Capricorn, when it comes to just investments, love, relationships, and things of that nature. We have fertility, all right? So it's the perfect time for you to start something new. It's the perfect time for you to access new ideas. Again, start a different path, start a new path here. There's a lot of like learning energy, all right? For some of you, you could have a lot of earth like Virgo or Taurus in your chart. If not, I do see you in the space of, all right, this is the journey that I want to go into. This is the direction that's best for me. So you may be leaving things behind. You may be, again, shedding off old old energies that were um, heavy on you or things that really just weighed you down. So there is this time frame, especially in this month, honestly, this whole month, you're stepping into this place of saying, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right. Uh, again, Spirit is saying it's time for you to start a new idea, new projects, give birth to new conditions as well. And you're doing a lot of thinking. You're doing a lot of, again, retrospect and changing your perspective about things. And you're wanting to release the past. For some of you, you could find yourself working out more, um, changing your eating habits, changing your perspective about things, and just really focusing on healing Capricorn. All right. Healing yourself. Right. There's there's something here that you're releasing could be a relationship here could be a relationship with an air sign a cancer or a Taurus as well all right but you may just be releasing something here that just didn't bring balance into your life you're blossoming basically is what's happening so anything that may be confusing you or has confused you in the path in the past I feel like you're just releasing that it states you are just getting started Capricorn so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up here. You're on the right path, Capricorn. All right, so let's take a look at love, of course. Love, love, love. Hit the like button and subscribe if this resonates for you. All right, so what's going on in love with my beautiful Capricorns at this time? All right, let's take a look at the past person, present person, and let's see what else comes in. The person that Capricorn may be connecting with in the past if you are connecting with someone, how is this person feeling about Capricorn? This person is definitely a, definitely a lot of sad energy here. A lot of like loss vibe vibes Capricorn. So this could be someone here that's like trying to get back on their feet or again, regretting how things played out with the two of you. Uh, again, someone here definitely always thinks about reconciliation. They think about reconnecting. What would it be like? They still have a lot of emotions for you, of course. But again, realizing like, I understand why things didn't work out. I understand maybe I let you down. All right. I don't feel like this is someone here that may be coming out and expressing themselves too much, but they do think about you. This could also be like an old friend. I think about us. I think about the way that things possibly just fell apart. I'm hoping that at some point we could talk about it. We could reconnect here. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like this person's also not doing anything. So again, this could be someone that wants you to do something. This person wants you to take action here. You could have worked with this person or had some sort of business with this person or maybe even lived with this person and had this future plan to, again, be connected for a long time. Maybe we were childhood friends or, again, we had a past life connection together. But again, this is someone here that I don't feel like they're taking much action. They're sort of like in the space of, well, you know, maybe it's over maybe I have to let you go but a lot of guards are up there could be an issue with trust as well all right but they do manifest a new beginning with you they do manifest or hope that there is something that could potentially happen how is Capricorn viewing this connection Capricorns how's my Capricorns coming in here 
Wow. Well, for some of you, you're accepting that the relationship has ended. You're accepting that there needs to be change. You're accepting that this relationship also changed you. Um, and you're also accepting the lessons that you've learned from this relationship here. Could have been a relationship here. Again, a little toxic, not too much for some of you. But either way, it brought in growth. It brought in uh, a new perspective and it brought in a new shift and transformation energy. Some of you, again, could have been connecting with a Taurus or even Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or a Scorpio. Either way here, there's an energy of I learned a lot. I learned a lot and I'm accepting things. I'm accepting things for what they are and I'm accepting things for what they're not here. All right. So there is this energy of moving forward with you, Capricorn, but in a more protected, in a more mature way as well. All right. Let's see the person that you're currently vibing with. Who are you currently vibing with? Are you currently vibing with someone, Capricorn? Is there someone in your current energy? All right. For some of you, there's a new person here. This person could have a lot of water in their chart. Um, you feel like this is someone here that is open to love. You feel like this is someone here that has a lot of peace. They're a hard worker. They're working towards the same thing that you may be working towards. My question is, are you ready though, Capricorn? Are they ready? Someone here is asking themselves, like, am I ready? Uh, so this new person that you're connecting with, there needs there needs to be work, obviously. Um, someone here is working on their approach. They're working on how they come off. They're working on how to build here. This person could have an interesting story of, again, you know, I just possibly came out of a relationship. And if not, this is someone here that doesn't mind putting in the work in a relationship or with, with you per se. Okay. There is a little bit of fear here. This could be a Capricorn, another Capricorn. There is a little bit of fear in this energy, maybe because of someone's expectations, but there is this vibe of, you know, what would happen if I give into this? So someone here is a bit nervous about giving into this. This person could be very, also pay attention to like someone's emotional s swings. Like I get like someone here, they're, they, maybe they have a, I don't want to diagnose anybody, but it's it's like they come in with this energy of emotional ups and downs at times. All right. And that sort of makes you not read this person properly. But again, I feel like there's going to be an energy of, you know, a change in perspective. You may actually get a better understanding with this person or you get some time to get to know this person. And it actually puts you in a place of, all right, well, I, now I look at them a little bit different. For some of you, you may completely change your mind and move a bit slower when it comes to this connection. I feel like you're already moving a bit slow, though. All right. But let's see how Capricorn is feeling about this new person. Anything else in terms of how Capricorn may be feeling? Oh, you're interested in this person. You have empathy. You have love for them. Uh, this is someone you do want to open up to. All right. This is someone here that you... Hmm. You do want to open up to this person. How is this, how is Capricorn coming in here? Wow, both of you are pretty honest with your emotions. So the emotions are there, right? And there's room for growth. Could be a Leo, could be again a fire sign or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. But I get this energy of like, um, I'm so tired of dealing with things that don't work that I'm I'm open to starting something new. So Capricorn, I feel like you're open to growth. You're wanting, you're wanting to come out of like, sadness and overthinking and just isolating yourself and just staying home and staying in your head i feel like you're coming out of that right overworking it's like all right i want to have a little bit of fun let's do that all right so i do feel like you're in that vibration for sure all right so let's take a look at your beautiful money all right your finances here during this time frame when you may be watching this video let's grab another deck spirit what is going on with Capricorn in finances at this time? Someone here possibly has to go pick up a car. Maybe there's like something that happened to a car um, and you're having to like get your car serviced or, you know, just having to get some goals done. I get a lot of like goals coming in this week. Like I'm going to have to like um, complete certain things. Uh, so you may be writing a lot and making a list of the things that you need to complete, some things you need to pay off, some things that you need to submit. Uh, maybe some sort of exams are coming in. I had a dream. Oh my God. I had a dream that I was... <laughs> Before I did this reading, I had a dream, maybe this may resonate for some of you, of, oh my God, what is it called? It, it's the genetic codes. Like, you know when they have like the three, 
uh, the three and they'll write the code down and it ends with a five and then you have to pick the correct answer like you have to flip like you have to read the transcript or you have to like trans they'll ask you to you know what I'm talking about for those that are in science I don't know why that popped up in my dreams and then I ended up picking that letter a so if you're taking an exam and you're unsure pick a <laughs> random but that's what it is all right money here what's going on with money the answer is a all right, let's see. All right, so you're manifesting. All right, so you may be starting a new direction. All right, you're starting a new direction. You're completely releasing any sort of like doubts here when it comes to money. I feel like be very careful with what you're investing in. All right, take your time with investments here. Okay, it, it looks like in the past here, you were very tired of a certain like job or role and you, again, you're not seeing the gains, but I do feel like the gains are coming here. We're in Aquari Aquarius, uh, not season, but Aquarius, um, what is it? We're in Aquarius right now, right? And what is that? That's Saturn and Capricorn is Saturn. So I feel like you're learning a lot of things about investments. You're learning a lot of things about how to, again, learn and keep pushing and not give up. So there's a lot about not giving up when it comes to your finances. I do feel like a gradual buildup, a gradual, um, a gradual better understanding of things. So you're coming out of like a routine and you're, you're ready to move in a different direction when it comes to your stability and your finances here. Again, you could be in a place where it's like I'm ready to meet new people I'm ready to invest I'm ready to collaborate I'm ready to speak up I'm ready to show my talents I'm ready to uh, post I'm ready to do the things that are going to work out for me and I'm ready to celebrate all right uh, the wait is over spirit is saying the wait is over and if you are waiting be very patient because a lot of great things are coming in for you okay so enjoy of course of course there's going to be some sort of you know worry at times here but again you know there's no change or growth without pressure. Always remember that. All right. I'll talk to you soon, Capricorn. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with moi, everything is below. Have a good one.